something and I'm really getting tired of black women having the same story. It's breaking my heart. Like 20 plus in the game. It breaks my heart. What was that? Peter Shout Ryan? out to Wendy Williams. The first woman to uncover stuff that's happening to Wendy Williams. Do you think this is all connection to? They've been waiting. The story of how one television icon might be responsible for some faceless attacks against black women in the industry may be well known, but the twist is that it seems she's now moved to doing her evil without a mask. I would say, you know what you need to do because what people are beginning to do is see you for who you are. It might seem like Jaguar Wright has a bone to pick with celebrities in general, but the reality is that she's in this industry with these people and knows things about them we'd never stumble upon on the internet. You know who I'm talking about, the same woman who poses as a beacon of empowerment when she's been consistently exposed to be an exploiter. Now, Wright seems to zeroing in on the truth about this very famous host we're talking about by revealing the people that have suffered at her hands. Although that in itself is an inexhaustive list, this celebrity host's history isn't limited to just the rich and the powerful alone. Nonetheless, speaking of the rich and powerful, it seems Wright's claims are focused on Wendy Williams. In the news, the story is that Wendy Williams, like most of the other alleged victims of this very powerful woman, is that she's facing a crisis that has taken a major toll on her life. That may be true, but it seems it might just be at the surface because according to Wright, Williams might be paying for the crimes she's previously committed against her fellow host. If you haven't figured it out by now, I'll just help you out. The person I'm talking about is the one woman known as the queen of daytime television, Ms. Winfrey. If you haven't seen her verbally destroy other black women on her shows, then you've probably seen her do it to them in more sinister ways. Monique almost lost everything she had, Taraji P. Henson was crying on live TV, and the one thing both women had in common, even in the eyes of the media, was that they were in a spat with this television host. In the end of these particular cases, one of these women had to publicly apologize for trying to stand up for herself, while the other has since struggled to put food on her table. The same way there was no outright public admission of her influence on how things went down for those women seems to be what Jaguar Wright is now claiming to also be the story with Wendy Williams. Williams's condition might have a perfectly logical explanation for how and why things in her life have gone from bad to worse, but underneath that, it seems some influential people might be pulling the strings, particularly just one of these people, besides all the other clear-cut reasons that explain how what her life has become is anything but normal. There has been an erringly similar case in the past with one big celebrity and another more influential celebrity. The question now is what are the odds that things like these are the norm in Hollywood? Well, Jaguar Wright might be the only one with that answer, and she's been preaching it nonstop for years. Was called when Wendy first started talking about it in the 90s, the homo thumb. Jaguar Wright is known for many things, but these days, a significant part of that notoriety is from her mission to expose the things our most cherished celebrities do behind closed doors that will have us questioning our choices. Although Winfrey has already triggered this within her fandom by herself, with the countless controversial situations she's gotten into with other black women over the years, Wright seems to only be here to put the nail in the coffin for her. As someone with one of the biggest followings in the history of television and the world at large, everyone can see how Winfrey might be one hell of a powerful woman. As such, it's only expected that everyone would steer clear from conversations about her out of fear, but not Wendy Williams, and it seems the woman might be paying for that now. It's no secret that Wendy Williams has had her own share of the short end of life stick. She went from being the queen of media gossip to getting caught up in a scandal involving her husband, not just fathering a child out of wedlock, but also leaving her for another woman. However, things appear to be even worse for her right now, and it might be televised. In a trailer for Lifetime's new two-part documentary, Where is Wendy Williams? The former talk show host is seen for the first time since leaving the Wendy Williams show amid her health and legal battles in July 2021. Despite being at the peak of her career, a voiceover recalls how she left the limelight and disappeared. 
Prepping for her first appearance on camera in three years, the television personality looks up with wide eyes before asking the crew, are we ready? All I know is how to be famous, she says in a radio interview, before the scene transitions to a clip of Williams needing to walk with assistance. All right, and away we go. Are you Wendy? All I know is how to be famous. I really want to be back on television. Elsewhere in the trailer, Williams reflects on the aftermath of her condition. I have no money, she declares before addressing fans. And let me tell you something, if it happens to me, it can happen to you. No money. Now I'm going to tell you something. If it happens to me, it could happen to you. While her family members recall their attempts to help Williams as she cried for help, the TV star sits back into her chair during a confessional and cries as she tightly grabs a throw pillow. Williams' struggles with alcoholism are also addressed. At one point, one of her loved ones finds a bottle of vodka amongst her things and asks, did you drink this whole thing today? Williams snaps back and instructs him to keep the bottle there while recovering in bed. Drink this whole thing today? Keep it there. Okay. Keep it there. Mom. Seems beyond clear that this woman is definitely fighting some battles that are far from natural. But looking through Jaguar Wright's lenses, her condition might have Winfrey's name written all over it. As for why, remember when I said no one dared face Winfrey back in the day until Wendy Williams showed up? There's a whole story there. When you think of Wendy Williams and Winfrey at the same time, they have a few surface things in common. They're both former daytime TV royalty who branched out into production, making huge strides for women in the media. However, the similarities just about end there, and I'll show you why. In 2011, Wendy publicly discussed rumors that Winfrey's friendship with Gail King was no more due to King leaving the TV hosts network for CBS. The gossip must have circled back to the billionaire media mogul because Wendy soon received a letter squashing the allegations. I have sponsorship. You know yeah, what I mean? Uh huh. All right. I mean, it, l listen, it was riveting. Like, she after pulling out the letter on camera, the host said, I love when celebrities contact the Wendy show to set the record straight, because that means they're watching. That's certainly an interesting spin. Wendy then read out the letter for her audience, which concluded with, I wanted to be sure everyone knows there is only happiness for Gail and this wonderful opportunity. Winfrey signed off with a smiley face and love, oh. Although the letter's tone was civil, the incident might have suggested a rift between the two daytime mavens. After all, Winfrey was basically calling out Wendy for gossiping about her on TV. Years later, she would revive the tension by publicly backing one of Wendy's biggest rivals. After the Wendy Williams show was canceled in 2022, most of the crew moved over to Sherry, a new daytime talk show hosted by Sherry Shepard. Expectedly, Wendy didn't take the news too well. She threw the whole tree at Shepard on Instagram Live in May, saying, I like her, but I won't be watching her because I know what she's going to be doing, and that's really not my thing. Ouch. Fortunately, Shepard was instead able to garner the support of Winfrey. In the end, both women brushed the whole experience aside. However, their feud escalated under different circumstances. During Hot Topics, Wendy discussed Winfrey's speech when she accepted the Cecil B. DeMille Award at the Golden Globes for her media contributions. The talk show host commented on Winfrey's weight during her show. She also insisted that the billionaire needed to reconsider her partnership with Weight Watchers. I could have sworn she would pop her corset, Wendy said on her show while laughing, because, you know, O is not the best spokesperson for a weight loss company. Although Winfrey didn't react to Wendy's remarks, several YouTube commenters sounded off underneath the video. Many claimed the host envied Winfrey and wanted to say anything to tear her down. Others begged her to focus on the speech instead of Winfrey's appearance. With those feuds well documented, Wendy's recent health scares have left some thinking the famous host is in for payback. While that part may be a little difficult for some to believe, there is some backing to it. Remember when I mentioned that something similar to Wendy's story had happened in the past between two celebrities? I wasn't bluffing. Remember when news started spiraling all over social media about how Jamie Foxx had a medical complication that landed him in the hospital? And that was all the explanation the public was given? There's more to that. Jamie Foxx, uh, the multi-talented 
actor, musician. I mean, there's nothing that Jamie Foxx can't do. And he's been hospitalized now for what his family's calling a medical complication. The ambiguity of the situation definitely triggered the fans' inner detectives, which meant that digging deeper for the truth to be unveiled. And let me tell you, the secrets that were revealed might just blow your mind. Initially, there were certain assumptions about how Jamie had landed in the hospital due to substance A. But that option was ruled out because Jamie had very smartly kept his track record clean. So it was highly implausible for everyone to believe he was there because he was an addict. Soon afterward, a new set of details flew around. According to some sources, it was reportedly a planned hit as a result of which Jamie received certain injuries on the face and neck. It doesn't take a genius to know that those are usually caused when a person struggles against resistance, unlike in the case of an accidental fall. At the time, word started to spread that Fox's condition might have been Diddy's doing, and this wasn't some random claim, it checked out. See, Jamie had been running his mouth about the things Diddy got up to at his parties. So I followed him the whole time. I remember watching Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel, filming this, and it's a pool party that is ridiculous, my name. The same things that have now brought him to the center of a Homeland Security investigation. And considering this man's history of taking people out of his way, it was easy to see how he may have made an elaborate effort to shut Jamie Foxx up. The same elaborate effort seems to be what Winfrey may have applied in Wendy Williams' case, only that her goal may have been way more than just shutting Wendy up. Of course, it could just be pure coincidence that Winfrey and Diddy might have chosen similar patterns to deal with people they don't seem to agree with, but the story changes from coincidence to intentional when you find that the pair actually have a much deeper connection than most people realize. You think of Oprah for president. I love that. You do? Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you've known her well for a long time. Yes. Besides his repeated appearance on different shows with her name almost always coming up, she actually hit some of her highest numbers when she interviewed him. They weren't just doing interviews, the pair have also been photographed at different events over the years. Even though the stories about Diddy only recently got worse, he's been a controversial figure for a while. With those stories, you'd expect that someone like Winfrey would stand for what is right, but surprise, surprise, she greased shoulders with him through it all, and he's not even the only one. For context, it is well known that Winfrey was once close with the controversial Harvey Weinstein and showed him sympathy even though he was considered a disgusting man by many. All of these make it hard to understand why Winfrey wanted to be best friends with someone like Weinstein. They had a very warm friendship and the photos show. Some people actually believe that Winfrey might have convinced some actresses to hook up with Weinstein. The famed host even attempted to speak out on Harvey Weinstein at one point, but she never really got around to doing it. And it just reeks of her trying to protect him. I haven't kind of spoken yet publicly mm -hmm. about what's going on. I think that this is, I'm always trying to look for the rainbow in the cloud, the whatever is the silver lining. And so I think this is a watershed <laughs> moment. Tell me, has establishing the truth about Winfrey been able to convince you that she might be trying to take black women down, starting with Wendy Williams? Reach out in the comments. That's it. Goodbye.